here we are. It has been about 10 months and we are in a very big and long test. But Bezat Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch please, I think it's coming to an end. I hope it's coming to an end. I know nobody knows what's going to be, but like, please, Hashem, let it be an end. So I'm thinking to myself, how did I spend those past 10 months? Now, quite honestly, I'm not sure. I mean, there were days where I was just like, let's just get through the day. And there were days where I was like, I didn't handle that so well. There were some good days, but overall, there were a lot of challenging days. And when I think back on this, I think, wow, maybe I wasted all those months. Maybe I could have like taught my kids Japanese or like maybe we could have done like all these amazing art projects or I could have learned something. I could have, I don't know, I could have taken a Zoom, like gone a master's. I don't know what I could have done. Maybe I could have like really worked on myself during these 10 months and become the most incredible, wonderful person in the world. And then I look at myself and I say, I missed it. I didn't, and I feel terrible. Am I the only one feeling like this? Or let's just even like take it on a small scale. Let's say you had a really bad morning and you lost it. And you say to yourself, I am the worst mother in the world, okay? This one can find the shoes, and this one's clutching about the toast, and this one's telling me this, and this one wakes up late, and it's just like a domino effect, and you just, you're getting yourself all wild up, and then you lost it. And you say to yourself, I'm just the worst mother in the end. It started off bad. Today's going to be a bad day. I ruined it. It's over. Well, guess what? It's not over until it's over. We see in this week's Parsha, Vayechi, that Yaakov, who had a really challenging, hard life, and there were moments, especially during those 22 years when Yosef was away and Yaakov was just down. And one would say he had like a really bad life. Maybe one could even say like that was a waste of a lot of years of just being sad and miserable. I don't know. But then what happens? He comes to Mitzrayim. He feels completion. He has all his children. He's seeing all this bracha. And he also, more importantly, he knows, Hashem, you're with me. Hashem, you're with me. I'm going to take advantage. And guess what? Vayechi. He lives, but he's not just like living, sojourning. He's just like passing residency in Mitzrayim. Chazal comes to teach us that he was vibrant. He was alive. These 17 years of his life were incredible. He lived. And then they come to tell us, after it says that he lives 147 years, that actually how it ends, the way that it was good and it ended, means that all of those years, even the ones that were difficult and hard, even the ones that maybe a person could say wasn't taken advantage of, I didn't do the right thing, I maybe made some mistakes, how it ended, made up for it all. It's so hopeful. It's so beautiful. It gives me, and I, it's, I say to myself, no matter how the morning was, no matter how these past 10 minutes have been, guess what? It ain't over until it's over that if I right now take control of myself and I say I'm going to do the best that I can and I am going to take advantage of the best that I can and I'm going to live. Now, Hashem, I want to live. Now, Hashem, I'm going to try again. Now, I'm going to greet them with a smile. Now, I'm going to try the best that I can. Then all that was good. It brought me to where I am now, which is living, to being, to trying to do better. And it's all good. It'll be all counted as good. So right now is the time to take the effort. Right now is the time to say that it ain't over until it's over, and now I can try. Now I can really do it. Bezat Hashem. Shabbat Shalom.